council reports now for the mayor's report um, in addition to the Snell family to keep in your thoughts and prayers this week also please pray for Miss Edna Britt uh, and her family uh, Miss Britt's sister Ruth C Donald of Snellville passed away uh, this morning um, I was very honored and want to thank Councilman Howard for working on the Amy Copeland weekend I was very honored to give out my first official key of the city of Snellville and she is quite a young remarkable woman uh, you can't help but be around her and just feel good and you kind of feel bad for that because you feel like you should be helping her and, and instead she's helping you so much more um, so thank you to councilman Howard and to all the members of stat that put on that weekend um, I want to congratulate give some congratulations out it's now school season and so we have to make sure we keep recognizing our local high schools uh, Brookwood High School is top in the um, in the county with their SAT scores and they've also had several uh, members of their uh, symphony symphony wind orchestra I'll say it that way and their band <laughs> selected, can't say it get around it right uh, selected for honors in the Atlanta area uh, this past um, Wednesday night I had the honor of declaring it Comet Nation Day and uh, there was a gridiron guide uh, party at Applebee's for our football team and the band and the cheerleaders and uh, South Gwinnett High School went on to uh, shut out Shiloh High School this past weekend so congratulations to South Gwinnett High School um, we have the Battle of Snellville coming up between South and Brookwood and, and South players thought that they didn't have a chance but they've actually done really well this year and so South may give Brookwood a run for their money in the Battle of Snellville which is coming up November uh, 2nd or 3rd whatever that Friday night is uh, so be looking out for that Brookwood High School I want to congratulate the girls cross country team uh, they placed first in the county championship and the boys team placed third um, also would like to welcome the new principal started today at uh, South Gwinnett High School in Snellville Middle School. I know Principal thigpen has been doing double duty, but he finally started today and is over at South Gwinnett High School now full time, and we look forward to working with, with, with him. Um, last week was Constitutional Week. Unfortunately, because of the way our meetings fell, we were unable to do a proclamation. But please remember um, that we wouldn't be anything we are today without the Constitution. And whenever you start to take away even the simplest rights of the Constitution, uh, there's nothing there to prevent us from taking over all of our rights. So please remember uh, what makes this country such a great country that it is. Um, finally, I want to say last week I had the opportunity our Market Street Implementation Group has been meeting monthly and uh, we had a meeting last month last week I know Councilman Krause is working on the vacant property registry I know that's quite a task so I appreciate that uh, but we do have a subcommittee that's also working on bringing in um, post-secondary education into our city and I found out this week that they've made great strides in working with the high school and Gwinnett Technical College and possibly bringing some nursing programs here to our city uh, we have four high schools in our sphere of influence that have roughly 3,000 students apiece and so if we could keep even a fraction of those students here and provide them a nursing program and then have the high school employ them that would be a huge step so uh, we have made some great strides in that in the last few days and so please look for more information to that to come uh, thank you all for coming out here tonight and with that i will close my mayor's report and open it to public comments